Welcome to a curiosity in a village church. Oh, and a little bit of fanboy worship too. This is the uh, church of St John the Baptist in Tunstall in Lancashire. Whilst I live in North Yorkshire, this is pretty local for me and I've decided to stay close to home uh, for this week's video because uh, we seem to have taken up our stilts and uh, uh, everywhere is uh, flooded. But I've had this place on my list for a while because it's got an interesting story. And this is what I've had to contend with today in order to get here. And uh, thankfully it has stopped raining for the moment because I seem to have lost my expensive umbrella whilst filming Tweedy Pubs last week. Of course, if any of our loyal subscribers would like to go back and visit those fantastic pubs that uh, Tweedy and I went to last week, uh, that would be great. And if you can ask if they've found my umbrella, I'd be very grateful. For the around about 48% of you who are regular viewers of this channel, according to analytics, uh, you may assume I have come here because of this. It's a Roman votive stone recovered from the nearby fort at Barrow by a Reverend Rothmail, who I think we've encountered before. I'll put a link at the end to that video. I don't want to take you out of this one. Uh, something of an amateur antiquarian himself, by all accounts. Dedicated to two pagan gods, medicine and healing, and incorporated in this window recess back in the 18th century. I'll put their names here. I'm not going to even try to pronounce them. But no, it's not the Roman votive stone that brings us here, and nor is it the fact that the Bronte sisters worshipped here when they were studying at the clergy daughter's school at Cowan Bridge. Somewhat controversially, I'm prompted to visit this place because of something that appeared in 2015 on the BBC, Legacy Media. I guess I might get lynched for admitting that I watch the BBC, a YouTuber watching at Legacy Media. However, I'm going to stand by it because it's Fake or Fortune, which I think is a quality programme. And uh, for Anorak fans of that, it was broadcast, uh, the episode filmed here was broadcast on the 19th of July 2015, Series 4, Episode 3. For those of you that are not familiar with the programme, it involves Fiona Bruce, that BBC newsreader, and the distinguished art dealer, Philip Mould, a really good, great guy. It involves them visiting locations where people think they have a work of art that might be a lost masterpiece. Oh look, someone's left their umbrella here, hardly a substitute for the one that I left in St Albans. Philip Mould is an absolute genius. Uh, from about the age of 13 or 14, he'd become an expert, able to read silver hallmarks, etc. He's uh, identified over the years uh, many lost masterpieces, including works by early works by Gainsborough and uh, Van Dyke as well. And he's just one of those sort of guys. He has that sort of air of sophistication about him, even the way he walks. Uh, is uh, distilled with that sort of confidence that uh, comes when you're not a commoner. I just knew that he had to be private school educated and uh, I looked him up and he was. He, was uh, he went to a private day school for boys called Kingsmead School. Uh, but his father was actually a Wirral factory owner. So to a certain extent, he's made himself as posh as he is. Unfortunately, I'm just a commoner, so I can't do that amazing walk that he does with the uh, confident sort of posture, and that sort of straight back and sort of jutting chin. And there's nothing in the world that uh, concerns someone like Philip Mould. Public school confidence, you can't have it unless you've been to public school. In 2009, Philip was accused of infidelity and insolvency by a competitive uh, art dealer. Uh, it didn't really bother him, he just brushed it off. The other presenter is Fiona Bruce, that uh, BBC newsreader. Fiona obviously also presents uh, Antiques Roadshow and uh, Question Time, doesn't she? Uh, to give her a due, she has gone on record to say that the episode of Fake or Fortune filmed here was her favourite. Incidentally, the church is Grade 1 listed, mentioned in the Doomsday Book of 1086. Uh, the oldest uh, fabric here today dates back to the 1200s. 
Anyhow, so back in 2015, Philip Mould uh, and Fiona were contacted by the locals about a dusty, dirty old picture that had hung in this church since the early 1800s. During the course of the program, they determined that the picture was probably donated to the castle in the early 19th century by Frederick Needham, who was the vicar here from uh, 1810 to 1816 and uh, he was the half-brother to Richard Tolman North of nearby Thurland Castle. I think before Philip Mould sorted it all out, they had believed it was Tolman North who had brought this picture here. And uh, here it is, the uh, Lamentation of Christ. And this picture that had hung here, dusty, dirty, and unnoticed for over 200 years, it turned out with Philip Mould's expertise uh, was a 16th century painting by Francesco Montemazzano. So a minor masterpiece here in a rural church in northeast Lancashire. And this amazing picture probably left Venice after the fall of the Venetian Republic in 1797. So there's a lovely mystery here as to what happened to it and where did it go between 1797 and the early 1800s when it ended up here in rural England. What you're looking at here is the uh, restored painting because Philip is so well connected he was able to get it uh, really nicely restored. Sadly I don't think the picture that hangs here today is the original. From what I've been able to ascertain uh, the newly restored painting hung here for just two days after the broadcast of the program and then had to be removed and put into safe storage. There were messages appearing on Twitter, uh, that's what uh, X used to be called by the way, uh, with directions for criminals to be able to come here and uh, steal it. Original or not, I think it's a pretty intoxicating story. It's exactly the sort of thing we love on the compendium of curiosities. Oh, and by the way, if it was the original still hanging here in St John the Baptist Church in Tunstall in Lancashire, I'd have no qualms whatsoever about sharing that with you lot, because I reckon my subscribers are a quality bunch. Ah, uh, oh no, I've been wearing my hat in a church. Sorry. There's always something that goes wrong. I'm not filming the <laughs> again. So I'm going to do a little test here uh, with Mrs. WC21, UK Productions Limited. Would you ever leave me? No. <laughs> See, totally committed. What about if it was for Philip Mould from Fake or Fortune? Oh, yeah. Well, that's a turn up for the books. I've just met some locals outside the church and uh, it is the original in there. And the other interesting thing about uh, talking to the locals there was that they uh, don't seem to hold the picture in the highest of regard. They don't believe for one moment uh, that it's worth a hundred thousand pounds. I know it goes against the grain uh, for us lot, but I really would recommend that you check out Fake or Fortune. Uh, it's a great show. Uh, they're all on the iPlayer, so I hope you haven't deleted that in rage. I hope you enjoyed that. A uh, little bit different. Please like and subscribe. And uh, Tweedy has shown me how to end these things properly, so I'm just going to say stay tuned, and we'll be back next week with another video. And then I just have to go over here and turn the camera off. Right, so yeah, that's it.